We are expert in interior, so we doing a large board or doing in a house, it's not much different. But of course when we have the opportunity to do it, then we are very happy to do it because then it's something new. Everything on the boat is scaled down, maximized, spacing and all this. And the fact that we actually needed to remove a lot of the, the structure, as you can see, ceilings and wall panelings and furniture, to be able to then really uh, have the discussion that we're having today of knowing how to uh, basically match our design, the first concept we had, to reality right now. Uh, we have to respect what we also uh, achieve with the client. The biggest challenge is the space. Because for us, we use a large space and being able to, let's say, somehow waste a bit of space, but here you can't waste any space because everything is really like calculated in the volume. Luckily for this boat, the clients are not really uh, extremely picky about materials, about, uh, example, fabrics or, or finishing colors. We have a lot of latitude. The request from the customer was basically not to change so much the interior, was to change the effect. Because everything was dark, dark wood, dark floor, everything was really dark in there and they want something very bright and modern. There's also a lot of special feature on the boat you don't have in condominiums or houses. The air condition system they use, the overhaul cabling system is totally different. So then we have to yeah, be very careful about this boat. As an example, we need to remove all of these panels, which are sort of PVC panels, but I need to get an engineer to remove all of the electronics. I'm not going to let my carpenters play with this, so, so there's a lot of uh, overlapping of, of, of work and there's a lot of different uh, professionals involved in this project, so it, it is quite, quite challenging. <laughs> this is the main challenge we have. We really have to use every square inch that you can use in, in this boat. This board is large enough for most of the furniture that pretty much the same as you would do for a house. The sheer logistic of uninstalling a lot of different panels, a lot of different furniture from the boat. We have to take pictures of all the items prior to remove them, identify them, bring them back here, sort them out here. Some items need to be sent to our suppliers to be recovered with either leather, fabric, so everything had to be extremely well detailed. We're going to rebuild them based on the design they were. So we have, if you want, the footprint of it, which will help us to put new furniture that will fit. We're moving from a very old style, dark wood with a sort of clear coating finish to metallic gray color. So as you can see the difference from before and after, the silver color will be dominant throughout the, the, the cabins, especially on the furniture. Now ceilings will have a mix of silver, uh, wood type laminate that we're putting on, on, on the ceilings in some rooms. Some other rooms it's only uh, silver painted ceilings. Then we'll have a different color carpet and different color flooring. So it, it's all going to mix very well together according to the design of the 3Ds. At those days they had fiberglass basically and wood but now we have all kind of composite materials that are much lighter than what they use, so which help because we can take off some weight out of the boat, make it lighter, and it's also slimmer, so we gain a bit of space. And so those are mainly the materials we will use on this boat to make it more modern and, and yeah, more efficient. We discovered a lot by dismantling, but it was good for a refurbishment of the boat because it allows also other technicians like engineers and so on to actually really do the job properly. So it, the boat will be as new once we're out of there. <laughs>